Hey, we have left the mountain. We're on a special field trip today, and we're at the Shipyard Brew House. That's right. And you know, it might not be easy to find, but it's worth the trip. We're with Bruce Forsley today, and we are going to take a trip into the shipyard. We're really, really excited. Let's start with the location. Tell us where you are. Well, Greg, you've come in a great time. <laughs> uh, we are at 86 Newbury Street. We've been here um, for since 1994, and back in 1994, this entire area was what was called a brown space. It was um, formerly manufacturing. It was uh, most of the buildings were uh, vacated and um, under various states of disrepair. And my cousin Fred, Fred Forsley, had the vision that we're going to take this space here, which is formerly a foundry called the Crosby Laughlin Foundry. They've been here for about 95 years, the last 10 years in a bankrupt trust. He's looking at this old dilapidated building and saying, I can see it now. This is going to be the brewery. We'll have office spaces. We'll have a hotel. We'll have underground parking. We'll have condominiums. I can see now this end of town is going to be beautiful. And here it is. And here it is. <laughs> right. For the construction of what you can see my, right behind me of a, a Cambria Suites Hotel. It's a 105 room hotel. It actually opened up last week with the official opening of November 2nd. In those 105 rooms, there are gonna be six shipyard brewery themed suites, where if you uh, rent the suite, you'll have a shipyard bathrobe, slippers, shampoo, soap, you can get room service from our tasting room. They'll bring up a pack. And you don't have here. to steal it? <laughs> you can steal it too. Oh, boy. <laughs> we can take it home. <laughs> right adjacent to, as you can see, is our brewery store, which will have an entrance uh, and exit to the hotel for the guests. And we'll go inside. You'll see our tasting room, our store, our brewing um, process. And um, yeah, we're very proud. And of parking. And par well, there's quite a bit of parking here. People sometimes complain about. Uh, finding their way to the east end. This building right here, our building, has got underground parking for 186 cars. So it's deceiving when you come into the neighborhood, there's plenty of parking. I'm saying that as a kind of a motivation to come down and visit us. What are we looking at here? The, the seasonal favorite pumpkin head, huh? So obviously all the beer here at the brewery uh, is beer we make, yeah. right? Uh, this is the pumpkin season. Got everything from a pumpkin uh, seltzer, which is um, Kind of an interesting twist on you know the bigger brands out there like Truly and uh, White Claw, and of course the uh, the Shipyard Pumpkinhead family. This year we introduced Bourbon Barrel Aged Smashed Pumpkin. <laughs> now Smashed Pumpkin is a 9.0 percent alcohol by volume, robust fall seasonal. It has lots of uh, nuances of nutmeg, cinnamon, allspice, and we aged some of this beer for three months in Buffalo Trace Distillery. Uh, oak barrels and also Woodford's Reserve wow. and um, then, then you get a beer that has all the original flavors of the uh, pumpkin spice but also has a lovely full body richness created by the vanilla and the oak and the burnt uh, toast flavors of inside the barrel and also some of the residual bourbon gets leached out of the wood and into the, um, the beer so you end up having a product that's about 10 and a half, 11 percent alcohol by volume and very smooth, very elegant um, fall, fall warmer, fall seasonal warmer. I mean, people ask how many different beers you make. Well, we make a lot of different beer, but also make a lot of, of the same beer in different packages. Six pack, 12 pack, bottle, can, draft, right. Um, so Finder is, um, is a brand we created about three years ago. It's a New England style IPA, and you might see it uh, at Sugarloaf under the Sugarloaf Finder package. Our, one of our newest, kind of focus brands, Sh Shipyard American Pale Ale. We have licensed the Shipyard brand to a brewery in the United Kingdom called Marston's Brewery. Marston's recently got purchased by Carlsberg, a very large international company. They have taken Shipyard and put it on what they call their accelerator program, which means they're investing in it for the long term in television, point of sale materials, incentives. And Shipyard American Pale Ale has become the number one selling American craft beer in the United Kingdom. It has become my go-to beer. Gosh, you must be quite proud. I'm very proud. And, it, and the other thing is, I think for a, a while there was a lot of uh, movement in the craft beer industry towards um, strong beer, oh, yeah. double IPAs, mm -hmm. unfiltered IPA, etc. Um, some of us are going back mm -hmm. to a beer that's a little less alcoholic, a little easier to drink, a little lighter in style, and we think we've nailed just that with this uh, American Pale Ale. 
a little bit left over from the summer season. Yeah. And again, we use we have a base wheat beer that's very flexible. We use it to make um, a number of different styles of fruit flavored beer. This is a watermelon flavored beer. It's a uh, it actually tastes very, very much. Probably very refreshing. It's very refreshing, yeah. ice cold, and um, yeah, you never know what's going to work, so you got to right. throw it out there. Of course, see that blueberry? I alluded to the blueberry. Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely one of our flagship brands. Um, besides the uh, pumpkin head, this would probably be our other quote unquote national brand. We sell this in Florida and California and a number of states in between. So. Sea Dog Sunfish, do you want to try to guess what the two flavors are that we use in the Sunfish? I would say uh, grapefruit. That's one. Uh, banana. How about peach? All right, peach it is. <laughs> yeah. So Sea Dog Sunfish, again, a wheat beer, uh, very receiving of uh, fruit flavors. And um, it's interesting that we use uh, peach grapefruit, peach for the sweetness, mm -hmm. uh, grapefruit for a little bit of tartness and a little aroma. And a lot of people who love hoppy beers, although these beers are very, very low, low hop characteristic, but when they taste the grapefruit, it reminds them of a lot of the characteristics of some of the West Coast hops, which are very citrus oriented and a lot of uh, grapefruit and um, other nuanced flavors. So yeah, even, even hop lovers can love a non-hopped beer. <laughs> now, when you come down here, you want to show off uh, that you're drinking, of course, uh, you know, shipyard products. What do you got? Yeah, you come in here, we have all kinds of beer first. Of course, beer is the um, first and foremost priority <laughs> of, of everything we do. But then as you come in, we can see we have glassware and candles and t-shirts and sweatshirts and baseball caps and magnets and 